Big Ten Conference matchup between the visiting Fairmont Senior Polar Bears and your Robert Seabird Flying Eagles. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to the presentation of our nation's colors and remain standing for our national anthem. Our nation's colors are being presented this evening by some of the finest students Robert Seabird High School has to offer. Robert Seabird High School's U.S. Army JROTC Color Guard is under the command of Cadet Captain Cameron McGinnis and consisting of Cadet Captain Haley Daniels, Cadet Private First Class Audrina Swagger, Cadet Staff Sergeant Zoe Sullivan, Cadet Staff Sergeant Tyler Silver. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Welcome again, everyone, to Robert Seabird High School. And now, tonight's starting lineups. First, for the Polar Bears and Fairmont Senior, coached by Ryan Sevier. Number 23, Cheyenne Bishop. Number four, Kaylin Hamilton. Number one, Ava Abel. Number 11, Jocelyn Silva. And number 15, Malia Young. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Clarksburg, West Virginia. One Eagle Way as the visiting Lady Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior, 1-16 and 16 on the year. Visit the home standing Robert C. Bird, Lady Eagles, 11-7 and 7 on the year. Deej, like always, give me your thoughts and the keys to the game. I'd like to see Robert C. Bird not turn the ball over as much as we've seen him the other night. Um, rebound the ball a little better on the offensive end. And, and maybe push the ball a little bit more and see if we get easy buckets and transitions. All of those would be nice, especially considering that it's senior night tonight Yeah. for the Lady Eagles. Uh, their traditional starting lineup of how Karatz, Kyla Sutherland, Holly Hunsaker, and Chandy Currents. And for the Polar Bears, Hamilton, Abel, Bischoff, Young, and Silva. 
Like we said, Bird comes in 11 and 7, 7 and 3 in the Big Ten. Fairmont Senior 1 and 16 overall, 1 and 12 in the Big Ten. They are in blue with pink piping with polar above the number, bears below it, FSHS below the number on the back. Bird is in your traditional white, trimmed in green, numbers and letters, RCB along the chest, number below, the word Eagles above on the shoulders with the number below. 748 just started. Nice crowd tonight on the home side. Let's see if the Lady Eagles can bring us a win. How for three right off the bat from the left corner. Bang. That is a better way to start the night. Bird's last four games have been win, loss, loss, win. They beat Preston last night 40-39 to on a Carly Karats three-pointer top of the key. Nice friendly rims. Lost the two previous games to North Marion and at Elkins and then beat a scrappy Grafton team before that. Turnover, Fairmont Senior. Hopefully this is a thing that this is a, what we should see the entire evening. Yeah. It's a definitely better start for Martinez than it was last week, last Tuesday or on Tuesday night. Much better. That's what we don't want to see. No. Man. But got it right back. So hopefully they learn from their mistakes. Beautiful February 8th, 2024. Yeah, sun's out today. Look like a little spring day. <laughs> Six days to buy your roses and candy <laughs> for whoever you'd like, including yourself. And as they, as Bird has their third possession of the of the evening, big shout out to Dr. Jamie Looker, like always, the principal, Kelly Morrison, like assistant principal. And the wonderful athletic director, Eric Post, as the SSAC has their meetings for, uh, I think, volleyball and track for the spring. And softball and baseball. Softball, yep, here at Robert C. Bird tonight. So kind of a busy place. Parking yeah. lot's full. Always nice to see. Get good use out of facilities. Good possession here of passing and catching. Nice pull up by Kyla Sutherland. And over the last handful of games, that's something Kyla has not done as much as what she did early in the year. She started to break some people down. Yeah, that's a, and, and that's a comfortable shot for her. And, and she's really consistent with it when she looks to take it. Yeah, she does more of a jump stop instead of a one-two in the lane. But as long as it goes in, nobody cares. Yeah, that's a deep. Off the rim for number one, Ava Abel. Bird is pushing a little bit earlier here in the game yes. compared to. And it's a better start than we've seen because usually yes. they're very sluggish. And, yes. And, and nobody wants to be the get-back game or the get-right game when you're the opposing team. Right. But hopefully this becomes the get-right game. But unfortunately, Fairmont Senior has now had two turnovers, uh, kind of unforced at some level. Some other shout-outs we want to get to before we start. On, the, on your screen, you'll see Bridgeport Express Care and Bear Contracting as our uh, score sponsors. And during the ad, you'll see Dan Cava, GMC Toyota, In-N-Out Tire, and City Construction. Obviously, like always, big shout-out to them mm. and everybody else that's, that sponsors Robert C. Bird Athletics and any other uh, organization here. <laughs> Unfortunately, second turnover for Bird yeah. on five possessions. You had 17 in the first half on Tuesday night, which is something you definitely want to get corrected here yes. for next month. Foul on Karach, her first team first of the first quarter. Foul trouble is yet to really be a problem for Robert C. Bird all season. Yeah, they've, they've not fouled much, and they've been pretty physical on defense. Yes. And if you ever want to know that there's a shortage of referees, and this is a compliment, uh, two of the referees on this game did the JV game. Yeah, and that's t I, mean, I don't care who you are. It's tough to do. It is. It's, it's very difficult. <laughs> Driving bucket by number 15, Malai, Malia Young. Hunsaker picked it up. Her first, team second. Unfortunately, we were not able to find any stats on Fairmont Senior, so we can't give you points. Yeah, we rebounds. were looking everywhere. Makes it really difficult if it's not all max preps or somewhere. Is it? Rebound Karach off the missed foul shot. 5-2, five to two, 539 left to go in the first quarter. Bird traveling right to left on your screen. Another unforced turnover. That's three. And I think Robert C. Bird's offense tonight with some patience will be just as – will be yeah, plenty good Yeah, they just got to be patient. And, I mean, it, it, oh, you got to get back. We talked about that. Who was the team that had the one person all the way back? That we, was that Grafton that just – the North Marion. North Marion, they always have they one just, person back, never really – Yeah, it was basically four against five in a, in a weird way on a, on, a, on a press. Good pass. Nice over-the-top pass. Good catch by Carly with the reverse. Almost a silly foul because that was a very difficult shot by any mm -hmm. player. 
Foul on Malia Young, her first, team first. And as we watch, Carly has improved steadily with her shooting all year, from 12 feet to 15 feet to, to actually 20 feet with some threes. Especially from the foul line, she's yes. been really good. And she had a couple threes, if I'm not mistaken, obviously the, the game winner at Preston last yeah. night, so she's got to be getting some confidence. And Bird has really had to grind it out for the last four games. Yeah, they're not going to out – I mean, they're, they're going to out-tough you. They're going to yep. outscore. If he gets into a scoring track meet, they're, yep. sometimes they can be in trouble. One of two for Carly. Six to two, Robert C. Bird. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Wow, that's got to be something. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Malia Young has decided tonight that this is her night. Yeah, why not? Hey, <laughs> have you have your night. Feel strong, be strong. <laughs> like Dion says, look good, play good. Kyla Sutherland driven along top of the key from right to left. Backdoor plays. Dragon seems is really active in that yes. zone. Wow. Missed shot by Martina off the dump down by Carly. Loose ball scramble right in front of the uh, Fairmont Senior bench. Timeout Fairmont Senior. Let's see if it's, if it's a 60, we'll go to uh, break. If it's a 30, we'll stay right here. I'm assuming it's going to be a 30 since it was that close as a loose ball. 30-second timeout. We'll stay here. DJ, so far, I don't see anything so different from either team because we've actually seen Fairmont Senior play in the Christmas tournament. Yeah. I think you're getting what both teams do. Bird, uh, slow to start sometimes. Usually the second quarter is when they you know, start to pick it up a little bit. Coach Shields has a little bit of time to make adjustments. Yep. It's a long 30-second, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as we wait for them to go back on the floor, we want to give a big thank you, like always, to the guys on the one and two up here, Stephen Kennedy, who always does a bang-out job and had to rush it tonight. His thing's got a little haywire on his computer screen, but he, he managed to fix it. His nick new nickname is going to be The Wiz. And there's always a shout-out to the head boss himself, David Oliverio. Always well, got things set up. Yes. Always has a hand in something. So we thank both of them. Wow. We, this game is physical. And yes. It, and if, not that it's being poorly officiated, but if that's the way it's going to go, it might favor Fairmont Senior a little yes. bit to be a little physical. Well, the ugly would probably the better. Yeah. Which is not always a bad thing. No. Now look at here. Carly for three. Good looking shot. Long. Loose ball rebound picked up by Martina. Jump ball right underneath jump ball. the basket. Yep. And there's Young again for Fairmont Senior. She's being scrappy. She's only a freshman. Uh, Bird, uh, excuse me, Fairmont Senior has a young team. They start, if I'm not mistaken, four freshmen and a junior. Mm. Jada Sutherland is coming to the bench to check in for Bird on the next loose ball, on the next dead ball. Excuse me. And right now you're seeing the speed of Kyla, Kyla Sutherland yes. kind of causing a little bit of fit. She can change the game with, the, with her speed. Yes, she, yes, she can. As long, as long as she plays with her feet, sometimes she gets a little... Gets her hands. and mm -hmm. Jada Sutherland comes in for Chandy Kearns. It's kind of usually the, the sub-rotation for them. Six to six to four, deep three. Four minutes to go in the first half. Another offensive rebound by Young. And right now, Young is probably the strongest player yeah, on the floor right you, now. And you can see it. When the, ball, when the ball hits the rim or ball's in the air, she's going to get it. Yes. Reach in foul by Jada Sutherland. Her first, team third. And down along press row, we have Martin Howell doing the scorebook. Larry Rabbit Snyder doing the clock. DJ Navarini, who does the PA and the music. And the facilities manager slash hot dog tester slash <laughs> Coke drinker, Dougie Layfield. When you have your own road, you, you are you do, are royalty. <laughs> do what you want. Dougie Layfield Lane, like always, keeping it real. Oh. Kyle Tuttle comes across. Another Unforced turnover. How many you got? These that five. Four or five. I got five. A little bit loud in our headphones. Yeah, thing. we're hearing everything. We might even be able to throw a play in here in a minute. That'd be fine. <laughs> good, good steal by. Nice pass by Jada to her sister Kyla. Wow. Well, we got a. Good steal by Jada. Excellent pass as she turned and kind of threw it in front of Kyle to let her go get it. Foul on number 11, uh, Foul number 11 Silver, Jocelyn second. Silver, her first, team second. And again, Kyla has Eleven shot the ball well lately. First one's good. Bird has him.
been an improving foul shooting team throughout yes, the season. Yes, they have. They, at one time, at one point the other night, we had them, what, 9 for 11 or yes. 11 for 13, something. That's just pure concentration and, and willingness to try to get better. Second one, in and out, just as we say they're getting better. And the, we gave him the jinx. Right. Lee Young's being very active tonight. <coughs> Brianna Copney is getting ready to check in. She's a sophomore, number 24. Checking in for the Polar Bears, number 24, Brianna Copney. She's checking in for Young. Let's see what that does to the Polar Bear rebounding and, and scoring right I, now. I like this with Bird with the, the, the Sutherland yes. sisters. Yes. Good steal by Martina with a block on number 23, it looks like. Cheyenne Bischoff. Yes. Her first. Team number three. Yes, Martina for two. Right now, Bird is two for four in the first quarter from the lineup. Seven to four with 3.28 to go. First one is good. And we even have uh, W.I. Middle School Girls team in attendance tonight. Good for tonight them. Here. Curtis Edwards and Bobby Farrell do a bang-out job up there. Mm -hmm. They do all they can to make sure they learn the fundamentals, get better, and get their money. Nice to rebound. Uh, now, but this is the only thing. You, you like to steal by bird. That's the only thing sometimes we get is a defensive rebound. All five players are still one end of the floor. Yes. <coughs> Foul number 11, <coughs> Silva, her second. Two shots for Carly Karatz, first one up and good. Carly's averaging 11 points, six rebounds, one assist and two steals. She has kind of steadily improved her scoring throughout the year. Martina Howe averages 19 points, five rebounds, one assist, two steal. Kyla Southern, four, three, three, and two. Holly Hunsaker, three, three, one, and one. Jada, three, two, one, and one. And Chandy, 1.2 rebounds. Those are players that have checked in for Bird. Second one is good. She's three for four from the line tonight. Three points. Ten to four, Robert C. Bird. Three to 21 left. Young checks back in the game. Good steal. Keeping the ball alive. Almost a turnover. Nice shot by Holly. Martina for three. Off the front iron. Holly Hunts like a rebound. Left hand attempt blocked. That's a good defensive yes. job right there. Martina dribbles in with the right to pull up long. Loose ball rebound. Kyla Sutherland comes there out with it at lane line extended. Pull back out. Carly Cross for three near the top of the key, short off the rim. Martina Howe keeps it alive. Wow, goes in. Really yes. getting on the glass. And even though we don't usually do a play by play, if you go back and listen, you'll just hear many of offensive rebounds and the ball being kept alive. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of options. There you go. Almost and a hockey line. Yep. So hopefully we continue to uh, 12 to 4, 252 left. Martinez the line for an and one opportunity. Falls up and good. Martina has seven this quarter. Bird, Bird, Bird continues to press. Loose ball foul. Martina Howell on the sideline. Martina's first team fourth. Usually yeah, we don't four. talk much about the double bonus for both teams. But yeah, but they're going to be, we're in it. Right. And there's probably been some calls that, some fouls that <laughs> could have been called, should have been called. Right. Oh, Good loose ball steal by Kyla Southern. She attacks. Yeah, nice that's jump a nice stop. That's yep. just Offense rebound, Carly Karach puts it up. No good. Back again. Be interested to see who this foul is on. Couldn't really tell who they were going to call it on. 12. 12. I don't, I don't have, I don't have a, 12. a 12. Well, maybe he meant 21 and just used it backwards. Let's do that. Andy yeah, Wells, try. you get your name on TV. First up <laughs> and good for Carly Karat. Chandy returns the game for Holly Hunsaker. Fairmont Senior is going to have to rebound the ball. They're going to be in foul trouble by, by yes. half. I mean, it's. And there's only, time, there's only so many girls on the bench that you can sub. The most right. you can do is four at a time. So you're just going to try to get better right here. Second one up and good. Carly's five or six from the line. Five points tonight so far. She probably already has five or six offensive, offensive rebounds. Rebound, yeah, let alone not, defensive. Yeah, not even jump stop. Good defensive transition. Look to handle it. Yes. 
Ball's up and good. Carly Carrots for two, 17 to four. 2-11 to go in the first quarter. Bird continues to press. Fairmont Senior dribbles through. Got a timeout, Fairmont Senior. This should be a full timeout. He's taught another 30, so we're still going to stay here. That is their second 30 of the game. Up to this point, it's been pretty simple. Offensive rebounds. And, and turnovers. They forced nine turnovers in the first quarter. Wow. And they have – it doesn't seem like Bird has had as many turnovers in the last three minutes as they did the first three. Right. They, they really ramped up the pressure a little bit. Yeah, so if you break this first quarter down <laughs> in just the six minutes that we've already played, uh, the first three minutes was a turnover fast, and it was like six to four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was six to four. Now they've ran it out a little bit with turnovers. No, I mean, now offensive rebounds are almost turnovers for the opposing team that's given yes. them up. Yes. And I'm sure that all, you know, at this point in the season, everybody's tired at some level. Oh, and, and, I mean. and especially from the Fairmont senior side, when you haven't had the season you're probably accustomed to, if you go back and look, they do have three state championships. So anytime that then everything kind of falls off the cliff, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. to get up for every game. But they're young, though, so not the yes. next couple years. <laughs> They'll be just fine. <laughs> right back where they're. Birthday's aggressive in the half court, D. They're well, getting they're, some active hands. Yeah, they're, hand, they're a lot of deflections. Yeah. Good patience by Jada. Stay on your mm. feet. Don't foul. Don't travel. Be patient right here. Martina dribbles along the top of the key. Fakes the pass. Dribble right to left with the crossover. Nice. Dribbles the ball over the front of the rim. 19 to 4. 138 left. Bird stays in a kind of a 2-2-1-ish. Nice job by number four for Fairmont yeah, Senior to, right to get away. Nice dive. Oh. No call. We got a walk. That was actually good D by Holly Hunsaker. Yeah. She held her ground. Mm-hmm. And really by the Fairmont State player, not the trial charge, she kind of. Yep. Carly Cross checked back in. But for we've talked about this with Robert C. Bird, though, some about Fairmont seniors doing that. Get the ball in the middle of the floor, and yes. the press doesn't hurt you as much. Yes. Fairmont senior with some token pressure. Martina brings it across the timeline. Lane line extended to the left. Carly catching near top of the key, swings it to Jada. Short. She tried to follow her shot. Re rebound by number 11, Silva. But again, three players from Bird that are still yes. on the same side. Actually, not a bad dribble drive by no. number four, Hamilton. Just got to finish better. But the thought was right. Carly Carrot showing her ball handling skills. Third to Martina from 17 foot. Long, back iron. Offensive rebound, Holly Hunsaker. Back out to Carly, top of the key. Somewhat of a reset. Swings over to Chandy Kearns on the right. You can hear Coach Shields say, run your offense and swing it. Now, the ball's sticking a little bit where earlier they were moving. They might have been turning the ball over, but they were moving the basketball. Yes. Dribble drive by Jada, kick out to Martina from about 18 short. And over the backboard, hitting the support. Hockey line change, 1, 24, 15, 23, come in for 3, 11, 4, and 21. I like it. I don't mind. It get better. Yeah, let's play, play, play them all. Let's go. So here we are in the last 33 seconds. You're trying to win the last minute or 30 seconds, however you want to call it, 19 to 4. Fairmont Senior brings the ball in, coming down the right sideline. Here comes the bird trap, dribbles through it. Should have, ooh, close to a trip on um, Chandy. Coach Shields yelling attack. Kyla left wing, right hand dribble into the lane. Good kick out there's in Jada. Back out to Jada for, oh, thought she was going to shoot it. Everybody really looking for their shot no, right with, now. And we and probably with, had three open shots right yes, there. Yes, and without Martina, you're, you're kind of not knowing what to do. Nice, nice drive. Nice double drive by Jada. Draws the foul. 24. Cockney. Her first. Sophomore, yes, her first. Team, yeah, we're in a double bonus. Her first. Team seven. 12, Jada Sutherland at the line shooting two. I'm hey. telling you. <laughs> She hits as much iron as anybody on foul shots <laughs> and as many go in as anybody ever. I'd love to know the rim. That one swishes. The amount of iron she hits. Seven seconds to go. I don't know if Fairmont Senior realizes it. I don't think they do. Nope. So at the end of one, we are 21 to 4, Robert C. Bird, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors.
quarter back. Um, DJ, give me your thoughts about the first quarter. I thought after about the first three minutes, Bird kind of settled in and finally um, ran their stuff, stopped turning the ball over. And at one point you asked me, it was it five turnovers, they never turned it over again after that in that quarter. Um, Fairmont Senior had 11 turnovers though in the first quarter. That's, um, Bird's pressure's been very good. It has. Uh, leading scorer right now in the game is Martina with nine, Carly with seven, Kyla Sutherland with three, Jada with two, and for Fairmont Senior, I saw Malia Young. I think she scored those four points in the first two minutes. Yeah. I don't I don't write down when people score at what time, but if there was somebody that did that, I don't think Fairmont Senior scored <laughs> the last six minutes. <coughs> so we're back. Bird has first possession, far sideline. In the Jada Sutherland. Tackling with her left. Your feet, you don't have to. Mm -mm. Martina runs baseline, which is one of their plays they like. Kendall Sturm checks into the game. She's in her set of Chandy as a starting lineup. Ball swing, you got a one-on-one -on, -one on the post. Don't crowd her. Carly's doing a good job of yeah. holding her ground. Back out to Hunsaker, top of the key for Sutherland. Good face up, nice kick. Holly for two, it's right on the line. Shot. In and out. Fairmont Senior attack, left to right. This is Hamilton again with that kind of a left-hand run. We talked about it before. Yeah, she gets like there. Maybe get a little closer to yeah. the rim and do that. Kind of a loose ball. Fairmont Senior chasing. Good jump down nice to Carly for two. Twenty-three to four. Seven oh eight left in the first quarter. Swing. Oh, she had a yeah. shot. Off the foot, let's see which way this guy goes. And they give it to Bird on the turnover by Fairmont Senior. RCB cheerleaders in the house tonight. I don't know of a game they haven't been to, so big shout out to them. Michael Minnick from the newspaper. Can't tell what TV station is here. And right about this time of the year, you're starting to get ready for sectionals. And the Bird basketball team on the boys' side uh, has had a good last few days. They're 500, 8 and 8. Yeah, they've won. Four out of last, or one four in mm -hmm. a row, and mm -hmm. six beat, out of seven. Or beat something. what? Preston one or two nights ago here. Before that, they beat Calvary Baptist down in the <coughs> shootout. Foul on Fairmont Senior. Hamilton, her first. Team first of the second quarter. Thank you. Down front. Martina for three from the corner. Got it. Falls in. 12 for Martina tonight. Shots are falling a little better. Turnover Fairmont Senior, unforced. Come to the basketball on a pass. Mm -hmm. Always helps. Martina takes it out in front of the Robert C. Bird bench. Over to Kyle Sutherland. She approaches the half court line. Throws it to Martina on the left side line near the volleyball line. Back to Kyle. Kendall on the right wing. Foul line extended. Left hand dribble to the elbow, cross court pass to Martina. I like the movement, I th yeah, and I think I like the dribble drives initially to get into the elbow area and or to make better passing handles. They've moved the ball a lot better today than they did against yeah. Smith Marion. And, and Fairmont Senior, to the credit, is at least keeping it organized defensively. No, they're, they're two, three, four, their matchup, right, it looks like they're in a matchup zone. It yes. pushes you out. Yes. I don't know how many times Shields wants a three from Carly, right. but if Carly can shoot it that well and get the confidence going, that's great. I mean, that will, I mean, that, well, that opens, that helps you space the floor. It does. Which it and again, if you won the game with it, God bless <laughs> us all. So Fairmont Senior almost had a turnover as they pick up the dribble along the uh, after after short. Yep. Good three ball by number 23, Bischoff. First. First another freshman? Uh, yeah. First points of the second quarter for Fairmont Senior. First points in a long time. Yeah. That's the first shot they've taken for a long yeah. time. Carly Karach dribble with the left hand baseline. And her confidence is starting when to grow a little by little. She is moving well. She's very hard to beat. Yes. And sometimes it's unfair to her, too, as games have gone. Because she is so much taller and longer than mm -hmm. most, she is so depended upon. Right. Um, 
that makes it difficult. Amara Moore checks in for Bird for the first time tonight, number 32. And Jada Sutherland's come back in for Carly. 31-7, 4.54 to go in the second quarter. Thank you for watching tonight. Please. Senior night here at Robert C. Bird as the Lady Eagles honor five seniors, <laughs> along with Brooke Lister, mm -hmm. team mom slash team manager. <laughs> Brooke's been very active in all fronts as she's been here at Robert C. Bird. Very good senior class. Probably one of the most successful looks when we walk out of here. Mm -hmm. On the girls, girls basketball, basketball side. side. Yes, total. Nice dribble drop by Jada. Well, her confidence oh, is Oh, and again. She touches every single part of the rim, even on dribble drives. She's really improved since the beginning of the season. Nice step into it. Knocked another Number one Number two. Oh, I thought that was her second yeah, in a row. Good offensive good rebound. rebound. For Abigail, Sh no, excuse me, for Jocelyn Silva. 23-32. That's a good-looking yeah. shot. Right side of the rim. Second one is up and good. One of two for Silva. Makes it 33-7, to 4.15 to go in the second quarter. I haven't seen Young for a while. Yeah, I, I saw that a little bit ago. It's almost like a 2-3 a, a extended with nobody in the middle here on this defense. Yeah, it can kind of slow you up. Collin on the left wing, back up to Car or excuse me, Martina near top of the key. Dribble drive off to Collin for three. Long rebound to Jada. Hey. Off the backboard and good. She's got six. Yes. And if there's ever a time that you can find some other people to score, this is the type of game to, that you want that to happen. Mm -hmm. 35 to 8, 347 to go, second quarter. That's a good looking shot. Yes, it is. Good rebound by Kendall. They're off and running. They look like they're running lanes, running to the rim, making people guard you. Martina with a little nice bit of a Euro kid. step foul on number 23, Bischoff. Martina goes to line for two. Her third. Martina has 12 on the night. This is to go for 13 and or 14. First one's up and good. All rim. Three. We got three subs coming in for Robert C. Bird, Sherratt, Tunsaker, Kearns. Come in for Sutherland, Moore, and Sutherland. Bird starting the guard, starting lineup other than yep. Kendall Stern. Yep, she's in there for. Uh, that was Young. Yes. Checking in. Martina, and good. Birds having a good night from the line so far, plus they're getting there. Yeah, they're good. Tremont Sr. crosses half court, checking out the defense. More like a 2-3, no, kind of a flat 2-3. Another three-pointer by Sr. They've taken probably five or six in a row, mm -hmm. and it's probably the easiest thing to get off. Yeah. And I'd rather, I guess, get a shot off than a turnover. Yeah, because they didn't get a shot for a long time. Right. Good patience by Holly. Over to Carly. Swings it to Martina for three from the left corner short. And here's their balance on defensive rebound. Yeah, that's just something that, that almost could be a loose ball. Fairmont Senior. Nice job by number three, Lipton. Trying to get to the rim. Good job by Martina on the track and back. No foul trouble this quarter. We had five fouls pretty early both ways. Yeah, now we're only at two and one. So no. No drastic foul issues either way in the second quarter. Fairmont Senior uses their patience along the perimeter. I'd like to see Fairmont Senior get somebody in the middle of the floor at the foul line. Yeah. Young reminds me a little bit when she gets the ball of uh, Emma Elliott. Yeah, because she gets it and goes. Yeah, she's bigger, she's stronger, she can create her own space. She's not afraid, it doesn't bother her. There's some good things to come from this Fairmont Senior girls basketball team in the future. We're more we're about the present for Robert C. Bird. Yep. Oh, goodness. Rim unkind. <clears throat> Not in the armory tonight. Martina with the right-hand dribble all the way to the rim. Up and no good. And if you've never been there, it's, kinda, it's a nice place to go watch a basketball. Oh, it's 
Great history in that place. Offensive rebound by Kendall with a loose ball tie up. Possession goes to Fairmont Senior. Berg's upcoming games are on the 10th, Logan Deer. On the 13th, the always fun East Fairmont Bees. Yeah. East Fairmont unfortunately put on Fairmont Senior the other day, 111 to 29. Mm. And then they finish off at Ritchie County. Yeah. Well, that's a good call. She doesn't swipe down. Correct. And stay straight up, she's good. Rather be late, or rather be right than late. Yeah. <laughs> Leah Young at the line for two. She has four. Had four in the first quarter, all early. Good looking shot. Gets a lot of the rim. Yeah, her and Jade have been working out together shooting foul shots. <laughs> Second one up. Long defensive rebound by Carly. Off to Martina. Good patience. Martina bring up the floor with her left hand. Down the middle of the floor. Continues her dribble. Good active hands by number mm -hmm. four, Kyla Hamilton. I need to move this basket back. <laughs> it makes it difficult. Ooh. Good patience by Robert C. Bird at this time. Two minutes to go, 37 to 9. Good dump down Good. to Carly. Good pass to Kendall. Nice, nice extra pass to Chandy. Sometimes take the first one. Yeah. Lay it up. Yep. Foul on Chandy. Her second. Team's fourth. Ah. Yep. Jada and Kyla check back in for Chandy and Carly. stays in a 2-3 zone with the Southern girls up top. In the back, you got Sturm, Hunsaker, and Howe. Fairmont Senior kind of has more of like a four-out nice one in. She really nice dribble drive, rim. another block. Yeah. She has decided yes. one way or another that... She's going to the rim. Yes. And I like it. I mean... I got no problem with yeah. it. But now she's going to make the choose. You're either going to stay in there and take it or... <laughs> now the development from the rest of the team is anticipate it. And next time you have too many people but come over, work do on the dump down. First one up and good for, you, for Young. And I think the Robert C. Bird boys team plays at Fairmont Senior, I think, tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big game there. Second one's good. She shoots it and starts moving back. <laughs> she anticipates it going in. Kyla Sutherland bring up down the middle of the floor, getting ready to cross. Ball screen by Moore. Ooh. <laughs> kind of a pass to anybody but nobody. Martina evaluates. Moore flashes high post. Nice flash. Good backdoor cut by Kendall. Had her. Ball screen to Jada. Jada's feeling it. Deep check. Little short. And a little bit of a stock. So let's see who can jump and go get it. Looks like the coach. Do we have it? Do not hurt yourself. Blow out your back or a hammy. And up and got it. Used to be able to do that back in my day. I heard. <laughs> I heard I, you like those six foot rims. Yeah, the six foot rims work good. Yeah. <laughs> More for the Zenoria milk. Yep. <laughs> Jump ball. <laughs> Saves the bird, taking the ball on him, baseline out of bounds. Kyle out to Jada. Jada swings it to Kendall. Got a flash. Pump fake by Martina. Kind of Ooh. a reverse layup with the right hand. Two. 16 for Martina. Seven this quarter, nine in the first. She leads all scores. Good travel, good call. <laughs> nice. Carly I, has I, 14. Say it again. I like her game. I mean, no yeah. fear going to the back. I mean. Yeah, now you need to get a ball reversal, let her move a little bit, yeah. move the defense, so then it's that much easier. Carly comes back in for Kendall Sturm. Holly Hunsaker returns back in for Amara Moore, who's seen some good minutes tonight. Yeah. And she Chandy had some good minutes the other, yeah. the other night when she got to play. And Chandy comes back in for Jada Sutherland. 39-11, last minute of the second quarter before half. It doesn't seem like Bird has shot so well to almost have 40. Yeah, it does. 
but maybe all those nice. turnovers, good dribble drives. That was good defense because it kind of took her off. Yeah. Her. High post. Nice. Yep. Uh, unfortunate foul. Helps her up. Good job. I think she was just trying to maybe get a block out. Yeah. A little too much. Charlie returns to the line. Right now she's five or six. She's five and six from the line tonight. Really don't see any major major changes for either team in the second half. If you're Fairmont senior and you're trying to get better, maybe you throw a couple extra passes to move the defense a yeah, little bit. Yeah, let you give Bird zone to move. And yeah, let Young catch it. Uh, on the sixth pass instead of the second, trying to get to the rim. Mm -hmm. From the Bird sideline, you're working on take the shots that you're going to take for the rest of the season. Game shots, game speeds, and game situations. 40 to 11, 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Some of your younger younger girls going to get in as yeah. varsity experience. Yes. Yeah. And whatever you've been working on in practice for each person or each player individually. Do, yeah, do it. Yeah. Good pass. Nice dump down. That's a good run. When, so she, when she's active, she's really good. Right. So I if mean, you want to work on that sideline break like that off a miss or make you then continue to work on it. Four seconds to go. Fairmont Senior does get a shot off this time Thank off the back. We are at half. We are 42 to 11. We will give our second half synopsis when we come back. But any parting words before we go to our sponsors? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, well, senior night, that's it. With that being said, let's go get a Coke. And Hello, and welcome to Harrison County, West Virginia. With a population of over 69,000, Harrison County is a thriving community with plenty of recreational opportunities, historical sites, and a booming economy. And with an ideal central location, Harrison County is within a 10-hour drive of 60% of the population of the United States, with relatively easy access to cities like New York City, Chicago and Atlanta. Vital to the region is our North Central West Virginia Airport, which serves as an economic engine for the area, providing countless job opportunities to local residents and has an annual impact of over a billion dollars. Whether you're here to visit or find a place to call home, there's plenty to discover in Harrison County. There's something for everyone in Harrison County. Indian Mounds, located near the Veterans Park, are thought to be burial mounds constructed by the Hopwellian culture prior to the year 1000 AD. During the Civil War, the county seat Clarksburg served as a military depot for the Union Army. General George B. McClellan held his headquarters here in 1861 until the Battle of Bull Run. The Clarksburg Downtown Historic District includes an extraordinary variety of architectural types and styles. The Courthouse Plaza displays the statue of Stonewall Jackson, a native son and legendary Confederate general, as well as the flag staff from the battleship USS West Virginia, sunk at Pearl Harbor. Residents and visitors enjoy a wide variety of unique shops and dining options throughout Clarksburg's downtown historic district, downtown Bridgeport, the shops at Avril Place. Meadowbrook Mall in Bridgeport attracts shoppers from across the region with stores of every size and specialty. Explore Harrison County today. Harrison County, West Virginia is made up of 10 family-friendly cities, each with a robust sense of community and culture. Our diverse housing mix includes new homes and established neighborhoods at various price points, as well as homes of character and tranquil lakeside settings. Carefully conceived mixed-use communities offer plans for a wide array of amenities that the entire family can enjoy. 
No matter what your age or lifestyle, there are options including independent and assisted living apartment communities that offer as much or as little care as you need. We warmly invite you to explore Harrison County, West Virginia, where your dream home awaits you. Harrison County offers services, opportunities, and activities for all ages. Farmers markets in Bridgeport and Clarksburg feature locally produced foods and live music provided by local musicians. Harrison County hosts several community festivals throughout the year celebrating unique cultures, marking the season or remembering the county's rich history. The county is also home to excellent health care services from the United Hospital Center in Bridgeport and the Veterans Administration Hospital in Clarksburg to Fairmont General Hospital, Monongahela General Hospital, and Ruby Memorial Hospitals. The area's fire, police, and emergency medical first responders reach every hill and valley in the county to coordinate care for injured residents and threatened property. In addition, the community offers a number of senior citizen services and centers that provide everything from nutrition guidance and exercise classes to medical care. Discover an exceptional quality of life in Harrison County. Harrison County Parks and Recreation offers a variety of outdoor opportunities. Veterans Memorial Park in Clarksburg features a popular aquatic center with areas to swim and play. At approximately 12 miles, the Southern Rail Trail begins at Camden Street and ends at Custer Edition, while the four-mile-long Northern Trail starts at the east end of Hamill Avenue and ends in Spelter. A fitness trail winds along the river for a mile and a half. There are picnic shelters for large groups, lighted tennis courts, a skate park, a dog park, an 18-hole miniature golf course, and an amphitheater. In Bridgeport, the recreation complex features four baseball fields, a multi-purpose field for soccer, football, or lacrosse, a walking trail, basketball court, and large picnic shelter. The Harrison County Recreation Center offers interactive exhibits designed to inform, engage, and inspire. Built on a reclaimed coal strip mine, Pete Dye Golf Club provides players with many unique features that remind golfers of its past. Experience it all in Harrison County. Harrison County Schools offer rigorous curriculum choices that challenge students at every level. The Harrison County School District is where all are leaders and all are learners, with 25 schools serving elementary, middle, and high school students throughout the area. For quality higher education in the area, local colleges include Pierpont Community and Technical College, Salem International University, and Fairmont State University. The Gaston Caperton Center at Fairmont State University is a focal point of higher education within the county, serving approximately 1,100 students weekly. The Robert C. Byrd National Aerospace Education Center, a component of the Fairmont State University and Pierpont Community and Technical College, offers associate and bachelor degree programs in aviation technology. The path to a strong education begins in Harrison County. Harrison County is continually welcoming new and exciting opportunities for economic growth. Located in Bridgeport, Meadowbrook Mall is a major source of traffic and revenue. Harrison County is served by the North Central West Virginia Airport, which offers convenient flights to Washington, D.C. and Chicago through United Airlines. West Virginia's Charles Point combines commercial, residential, and recreational areas into one master plan community. Adjacent to Charles Point is the state-of-the-art United Hospital Center, and nearby is White Oaks Business Community. This developed area of West Virginia's Interstate 79 is considered part of a high-tech corridor. Harrison's job growth has been heavily driven by the production of natural gas, and Taro Resources in Bridgeport has been prominent in the exploration and production of natural gas and oil since 2002. The Harrison County Chamber of Commerce promotes a vibrant business climate by fostering business growth with its numerous members. Business and industries thrive in Harrison County. Anybody can live in a neighborhood, but not everyone gets to reside within a true community. Our vast array of community organizations not only provide opportunities to give back, get involved and come together, they create a sense of pride for our city and continue to help forge the community our residents are proud to call home. Doing better by working together. Community starts here.
back. Appreciate your patience. Bird's out for warm-ups here a little bit early. 42-11, Robert C. Bird winning. Uh, I think what we saw was a little bit, not a slow start in a way of getting to the rim, just slow start in maybe ball control, ball handling, and ball decisions. Yeah. I, oh, definitely. I, first quarter, I have Fairmont Senior with 11 turnovers. Second quarter, they get three, but they get a lot more shots. In the first quarter, they turned it over a lot, didn't get a lot of shots. Bird turned it over five times in the first quarter, only two times in the second quarter. Well, so, I, that's a positive for, for Robert C. Bird. Correct. Unofficially, um, I have Carly with 17, Martina with six. Excuse me, Martina was 16, I apologize. Jada was six, and Kyla was three. Um, for senior, Malia Young leading the way with seven, Bischoff with three, and Silva with Chris one. one. So, you know, if you're Fairmont senior, you're just trying to have better ball control, maybe a little bit more patience on offense, and um, trying to corral the defensive end from a rebounding standpoint. I might see Fairmont Sr. maybe somehow get some lanes for Young to drive the ball here in the second half. Maybe a ball screen. Yeah. Maybe her move along the baseline as, as Martina does. So there's some different things that could be done. For Bird, you want, ga again, game shots, game speed, game situation, trying to get better, no turnovers. Right. If you want to run some things that you think might work in the section. Yeah, this is the time you run some things, maybe something you haven't ran a lot all year, you want to see um, get some playing maybe here in the fourth quarter. Get some playing time for some younger girls and that need it. You know, you're you're on the back. You're on the back end of a back to back night. Yeah, and even in your home, that, you know, you need to travel to Preston County and play. That's no. a that is a drive. So before on my way up here, you know, you always think about what it's like the day after you play Preston. <laughs> what about for them? Every away <laughs> game. Oh, I could. I mean, if from a from a north central between Harrison and Marion County, you're 5, 10, 15 minutes away from most of the people you play. Right. I'd hate if I was in to have to go to Lewis, Upshur, Elkins. <laughs> I've been in that situation before. <laughs> <laughs> Head football coach, and you're trying to get – you're traveling everywhere, and your, your closest rivalry game is 25 minutes away. <laughs> On two-lane? <laughs> On a two-lane road over the mountains. <laughs> well, God's country. <laughs> Paramount Senior made their way out just now. Let's see what type of effort and focus they give the second half. This could be, it could be a good situation for both teams if they grow from it. Yeah, for both teams, really, it may sound silly. You don't really want to worry about the score. Maybe you're you're trying for development both ways. Mm -hmm. Paramount Senior has ball first. They'll be traveling from right to left on your screen. Again, another thank you to the game sponsors as well as the ad sponsors from Bridgeport Express Care and Bear Contracting that you see on your screen to during the timeouts and in between quarters Dan Cava in and out tire and city construction. Bird come a little one three one and come out right away trying to trap near midcourt. Uh, loose ball. Another jump ball right here. Bird Bird will control this one. Fairmont Senior has done a decent job of splitting the double teams off the dribble. Yeah, you 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 better be shoulder to shoulder and foot to foot if you're going to trap. Cause they're yeah, because when you have the Philip Barber, the East Fairmonts, the Lincolns, whoever they would be from a sectional regional, um, Elkins included, all the details are going to matter. Yes, all the little things. Good pass. Good back door. Good yes. Back door. Good good basketball. And that's the things you want to see. You don't want to get in something might create a bad habit here later. Great first possession for them, 30 seconds in. Young dribble drive. You better move your feet against her, yes. that is for sure. Or stay there and, and yeah, take, take the beat. Yeah. Defensive rebound by Chandy off to Martina. Coming down the right side of the floor. Martina about 15 foot. Stops, dumps it down to Carly. Nice pass. Good foul by Young coming across the, the top. Carly's up for two. So, so far on both possessions, you had a pa two excellent passes, one that led to a, an easy bucket and one that led to two foul shots on yeah, it. It uh, looks like uh, Coach Shields trying to work the back door, going back door a little bit on the mm -hmm. – almost what we did um, uh, Lewis County or you yes. kind of went 
on a few D possessions. Double high mm -hmm. mixed back mm -hmm. door. 30 second timeout. We'll stay here. Looks like Shields just wants to go over some offensive strategies, maybe on the rest of the possessions. Because mm -hmm. now you can, with, when you have the ball in front of your bench in the second half, you can control yeah. the pace, what you want. Um, and as long as the girls stay focused for the next 30 minutes of their life, this will be a this will be mm -hmm. a development and, and quality second half. Well, you kind of like to have the you like to have the defensive end in front of your bench. Or you like to have the offense in front of your bench. I guess it depends on the score and who I'm playing. Yes, <laughs> the situation. <laughs> you know, I heard the uh, the West Virginia women's coach. Uh, he likes to have the defensive end in his. I can dig it. Hey, <laughs> when you're blowing everybody out like they were playing. Yeah, some people <laughs> like it hot to sleep with socks. Some people want it cold. You know what I mean? It just all depends. To each their own. And as long as you win like he does, who cares? You're just asking for the next contract. Yeah. <laughs> Carly comes for the second one, 45 to 11, 704 left in the third quarter. It's up and long. Good rebound by Holly Hunsaker. Let's see if they run whatever uh, Shields wanted to. I, I like young Jay. She uh, is I do too. physical. Yeah. Five. She's not afraid. No. Foul on Bird. Sideline out of bounds for Mont Senior. Bird attacking near half court. Much better job right there. Fairmont Senior attacking it. We're going to the rim with the left hand no good under the rebound. And we got another loose ball, and we have a jump ball. It should be Fairmont Senior's ball. Have a lot of jump balls, even one stuck in the rim tonight. So yeah. Rabbit's getting a workout, switching the arrow. Young at 15 feet. Strip. Good step, Good step through. through by 11. Foul on Karras. Number 11 for uh, Fairmont Seniors, Jocelyn Silva. She's had a relatively solid game all the way through. Kind of quiet, but she's doing a good job of staying yeah. active. Silva's at the line for two. She's a junior. Short front iron just kind of dropped right down. Do they have a senior on their roster? I don't see any. Ah, good looking second foul shot. One of two for Silva. Nice crossover got a little out of the out of the way. Good strength by both Silva and Hunsaker. Another jump ball. Didn't have very many in the first two quarters. No. no. Baseline out of bounds. Four cross at the foul line. Carly Crotch dives. Martina ball side, corner, Chandy, foul line extended. One hand pass to Hunsaker near the baseline. Dribble, try to do a step through to hit Carly. Kind of getting a little bit sloppy yeah, here from the yeah, offensive I end. Fairmont Seaton to be a little more physical on the defensive end also. Yes. Four out, one in for senior. Dribble drive, nice straight up by Carly. Just straight up again. Good job. Offensive rebound, defense, and Martina comes out with defensive rebound. Looks like she's sprinting to the rim. Young's running with her. Martina pulls up, back out, swing it to Carly for three, short. Rebound Young for Strong Fairmont Senior, and rebound. another jump ball. J-U-M-P, J-U-M-P, jump it up. 45-12, <laughs> 549 to go in the third. Getting a little raggedy maybe here for the last this last minute and a half, yeah. kind of. For the first two possessions, as good those passes were, you are kind of getting excited kinda for what yeah. it may be. So Moore and Sutherland check in at the game for the Lady Eagles. And I will say, I think Fairmont Senior is better than what they were at the Christmas tournament. When they're here early. Kind of a silly foul from behind. Make or make it. And kind of an easy call for a referee yeah. to reach from behind. <coughs> Young at the line for two. She's three of four tonight. Hmm. Off right, three of five tonight. She has seven points. I think the WI, that's the WI girls team. Long on the second. Good rebound by Kyla Sutherland, dribbling up the left sideline. Kicks it ahead to her sister Jada. Kind of short-armed it, and the ball goes out of bounds. 
Kyle like kind of yelling at her sister to go get it. <laughs> Bird stays in that half court, two guard front. There's that left hand dribble ah. drive again. Bischoff for two. It's her fifth point. Mm -hmm. Kyla Southern, top of the key, dribble drive left, pull up. Nice. She's very consistent with yes. that. And that's something to use here later down the road that can open it up for Carly and Martina. Yeah. And Can't again, reach. We're, and we're getting some silly fouls here. That's But that's her fifth point of the game. So that's Bird's fourth team foul, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they kind of... Jada, or Kyla, who couldn't stay out of the way of a foul the other night, just mm -hmm. <laughs> finally picked up her first one. Mm. Shot long by Young. Defensive rebound, Martina, comes down the middle of the floor. Approaches half court, crosses, passes off to Kyla. Up to the right of the circle. Don't pick your dribble up. Jada Jada. throws in the more to foul line. Shot up, no good. Young, a defensive rebound, dribbles out. Passes to Hamilton, comes across. Oh, just kind of a little bit of a yeah, miscommunication between the two. It happens. Life goes on. 47 40, 423 left. We had a little Michael Jackson this, you know, during halftime. Yeah. So you saw a little bit of people get into the groove. Bird kind of sets up in a 1 3 1 offense here. Paramount Senior stays in that matchup. Martina, right-hand dribble, off one leg, kind of a floater, and a foul on Young. Martina goes in line for two. Her third, but that's still not foul dribble for this game. Yeah. Almost halfway through the third quarter. First one's up and good for Martina. Checking in for 19 for Martina tonight. Is she close to being a thousand point score? Yeah, I don't know what the number is, when and where. Of, you know, heard rumors here there. I really haven't followed that much. So I, really I haven't, can't. I haven't ever heard anything. I just no. Second one's up and good. She's six to seven from the line nice tonight. Nice pass! Wow. Back iron, push off, going the other way. 21. Well, speaking of Fairmont, last night we were in Fairmont, and since there was no, there was all board water advisory, instead of trying to eat at one of the restaurants, we went to the aquarium. Me and my wife haven't been there for a while. It was good. It was, I've never been there. It's nice. Quaint. Haven't been for a long time. It was nice to stop by. It's a recommendation if you want a nice place to eat. Been down to the uh, the dock for a while. Oh, wow. wow. Nice my, defense. My dad keeps talking about Papa Joe's in Monongah. <laughs> he, all he wants to do is you know, talk about the sausage, so i got to get down there soon. Nice, <laughs> nice dump bad. down. Yes. Carly for two, assist Sutherland. We have two girls on with 20 tonight. Both Martina and Carly have crossed the 20-point barrier. Left on the shot by Senior. Rebound a good rebound more. push. Good, she's checking. She was doing a good job yeah. dribbling and checking the space. Good ball reversal to Kendall. Off to left, the top of the key. Left hand dribble. Picks it up, pivoting, looking for help. Whether it come to the wow, ball, nice Meyer Moore. Yeah. And a foul, and that's what you get. You made a good decision with the defensive rebound, and then you moved offensively. As the yeah. ball moved, you moved. A little bit like ludicrous. <laughs> Moore goes the line for two. Looking for her first points of the game. Just not going to show up like a State Farm commercial. Really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to be there when you call. <laughs> I got other things to do. This is still one of the better places to play and, and watch a game. Here, Robert Seabird, one eagle away. Nice rebound by Carly. Good strength over to Moore. And the ball is going to slip out of bounds. Good thought. Holly Hunsaker checks back in. Checks back in. Checking in for the flying eagle, number 22, Holly Hunsaker. 
Mom was going to be a good player. Yeah, she is. They got some good young kids. They've got a full JV schedule. And anytime that you go find a JV team to play because the other team you're playing does not have one like they did tonight, yeah. Cameron came down. Which isn't a bad JV program to play. No. Let's see if we got a full or a 30. We have a full, so we will take a break and be back right after this. We're back. 51 14, 249. What bird have at half? 40 points. 42. 42. We scored nine this quarter. Uh, Coach Hill's done a nice job tonight of, of subbing freely. Yeah, he's uh, had some different lineups, combinations in the game. We got another 10 minutes left in this game. 10 minutes and 49 seconds to go. You're trying to see how much better you can get in the last 250, just passing and receiving, making sure there's no loss of concentration. And you still have enough girls on the bird bench that'll get some playing time yeah, here toward the end. Their their time will come tonight, and then also in the future. That is a good job of Fairmont Senior crashing the offensive yeah. offensive glass. Good looking three. Silva's having a nice game overall. I have five for her tonight. <coughs> Hunsaker, foul on extended, Ooh, and a, almost a turnover. It is a turnover. And then a foul. Yeah. Two bad things kind of happen back to back. Yeah, can't let it snowball. No, especially after a timeout. Anything after timeout in the last one minute of a quarter half, you, you really want to make good decisions. That can be big. Should be shooting. Mm -hmm. This might be, I know there wasn't a ton of fouls in the second quarter, but there was in the first and the second, and the third, excuse me. This might be one of the most fouls we've had in a game. Yeah, it's been. First one's up, long. Kendall and Jada Sutherland check out. WI Middle School team still still in the ball game down there. <laughs> <laughs> Good for them. Get out, get about. <laughs> Loose ball, rebound, another jump, jump ball. ball. Bird ball. Two fifteen to go. Fifty one seventeen. Rubber C Bird. Pressure by the two guards by Fairmont Senior. In the middle, just jump stop. Yep. And we're at the line for two. This is definitely the most circles I've had on my stat sheet. Yeah. I'm in a long time from a, from the free throw line. Chandy gets a chance to put some points along her name in the scorebook. Two shots, Chandy Currents. First one's up and short. Young comes back into the game for senior, comes in for Silva. Second one for Chandy. Off left. Referee say did not hit the rim. Dead ball, baseline out or baseline out of bounds, Fairmont senior. Both coaches continue to sub freely. We like it. Bird a little 2-1-2. Two, two. They've been in this pretty much the whole half. So yes. 
tell you what, it's no more than three or four passes. And the scoreboard just went out on the left. It and at the top. The scoreboard went out. And they come back on. They four passes. Yeah, four passes is the max that Fairmont Seniors had for possession. Is the clock even running? No. Nope. No. Martina for two. Maybe somebody will notice it or let them know. And the clock started. Rabs got it. Rabbit's a man for all seasons. Yeah, everything went out. <laughs> Don't worry, he's got it taken care of. Another jump ball. I think Bischoff thought she traveled and she didn't. No. There's <laughs> another one of those splits again. Another one. I worry about, ooh. I worry about that for a bird in the future. If they continue yeah, to double that's, team that's not, high. Uh, you, you can't allow that because you're out main on the back end. 22. Yep. Young goes back to the line. So far tonight, she is three of six. But for at least she's getting there. Mm. With her aggression and determination with her dribble drive, this could be one of those things that she can get some automatic points from the line. Yeah, she can. First one, no good. She's o she's over three this quarter. So far, Fairmont Senior has been outscored 1,247 to 604. So it makes it difficult. Bird has scored 806, given up 751. Most of the games have been of Bird's good games against quality competition has been plus or minus five points, or it sure seems like right, it. Right, yeah, it's, it seems like they've always yeah. been in it. Martina dribble drive with a right down the <laughs> sideline for two. She has eight this quarter, 24 total. Steal. Steal by Kyla, loose ball kind of pick up. Uh, that's only Fairmont Senior's third turnover yep. for the quarter, though. Short on the three for Martina on the right wing. Oh. Loose ball. Tipped out by Robert C. Bird based on what the referee said. Crowd still in attendance. Yeah, they are under under Ooh. a minute. We really oh wow. Ooh, wow. Heat check. <laughs> Fifty seconds to go. Hey, she shot the ball well tonight, just uh, hasn't went in. I agree. And again, two That's a good drive yeah. right there, by and to, you know, to Fairmont Senior's credit, they don't take a lot of time to shoot it. So no. you'll have uh, Martina go in line for two. So Thursday night, we hope everybody has a, some nice preparations for the weekend, whether you're doing Valentine's Dinner this weekend or next. We hope you have everything ready. A lot of good choices in town to go eat. Yeah. I, I saw where Menards is celebrating 80-some-odd years. Wow. First one's up and good for Martina. It is nice having multi-generational restaurants yeah, it's in the uh, area. And you always got some new ones popping up here or there. We are very lucky in the Harrison County area to have what we have from a food standpoint. Second one's good. Martina checks out. Checking out the flying angle, number 20, Audrey Junkins. Audrey Junkins sees her first action tonight. If we'll get the uh, Coach Shields maybe to play them a little bit in a fourth and get there. Yeah, Martina has 26 tonight. I would assume she's done for the evening. Probably into this quarter is when you'll do some subs. 57-17, 27 seconds to go. They, this, this has been their longest possession right there by Fairmont yeah, Senior. To their credit, they did not have a turnover. And way to attack the, the offensive glass. Whether they get the ball back on this, which they don't, on the alternating possession for at least they got a good shot with more mm -hmm. than six passes and try to get the offensive rebound. I think that's better. They're better off when they try to shoot the ball a little quicker. I, I wholeheartedly agree. Less chance for turnover, mm -hmm. and they usually get the same type of shot. Ten seconds to go. Ball swings over to Huntsaker for, for three, three from the right wing. Got it. Bottom. Good for her. She deserves that. So, at the end of the third quarter, 60 to 17, we will be right back.
we're back uh, at the end of three, 60 to 17, Martina 26, Carly 20, Jada 6, Kyla 5, and Holly Hunsaker on senior night with a big, big three, three to end the third quarter. Good for she her. She definitely deserves some, you know, she does a lot of their, does a lot of the dirty work, gets offensive rebounds. And gets to see, they were in a set for her, really. That was yeah. her, her set to shoot that three. Yep. Always nice to do that on senior night, especially when there's little stress on the game. Yeah. So Bird scored about 20 points that quarter, 18. Kind of on par for where they've been the whole oh game. Oh, yeah. They've been there. We've got Moore, Sturm, Howe, Junkins, and Kyla Sutherland for Bird. Staying in a 2-3 zone. Probably going to keep it back either near or inside the three-point line. Good job by Fairmont Senior. They do a nice job when they take sideline of bounce. They mm -hmm. throw it in, then the inbounder spritz in very fast. They're hard to trap. Yes, they are to the ball side wing. She's going to get it swung all the way around. She's got a shot open. There she Yes, you've said it all night. Nice. She's got a good looking shot. Yeah, she, shoot, she shoots the ball well. It just hasn't went down for her. Ava Abel with her first points of the game. Is she a freshman also? Or? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Over to Kendall from 15 with the left hand. And nice it's little good. shot there. Yes. Kendall's been hit with the flu, so nice to kind of see her get back in the groove. Yeah. I know she missed a couple games. Got a few minutes last night at Preston. Get some confidence. Bird stays in the 2-3 with Junkins in the middle. Moore and Sturm off to the sides. Martina and Kyla steal by Meyer Moore. Dribble down. Nice left hand. She's gotten better oh. at that. Don't worry about the make or miss. You got to still use the left hand. Yeah. I'm glad the coaches have subbed freely with some of the fouls we've had tonight. Yeah, we've had a lot of fouls called. Didn't look like there might be a lot early. <laughs> no. <laughs> Silva dribble drive with the right. Loose ball, turnover steal, and a reach by Fairmont Senior. 24. One foul apiece on each team. One minute into the fourth quarter. 62-20, 6.57 left in the fourth quarter. Fairmont Senior stays in that extended 2-3 kind of, or they, did they go to a main-to-man? -main? Looks like they're... I think they're still in their match the matchup. Yep, good pull up off the front and back iron. Good rebound by Fairmont Senior. Nice pass ahead. Martina with the step on, step over with the block. She's got four. Two shots for Fairmont Senior. They struggled from the line tonight a little bit. Yeah, they have. They got a lot of rim. Second long as well. Another jump ball. I think Silva and, Silva and Young really go after the basketball. Yeah, they have a chance next year to, to cause some havoc yeah. with those two together. My more come down the middle of really the Really, there's a nice hustle right here. Yes. Good strength by Moore right mm -hmm. there. Sutherland dribbles left, falling backwards. I don't know if she fouled her other than just stepping on, yeah, <laughs> stepping on her foot. And the other thing, too, <laughs> we, we've seen a little bit of, of girls getting off balance when there's pressure. Mm -hmm. Kind of keeping their shoulders above their hips, above their knees type of thing. Bird takes the ball on the sideline. In the Kendall to Martina, back to Southern, top of the key. Right Mar yep, Martina runs baseline. Got a screen by Moore. Good screen. That's in. Yeah, that's good for me. 29 for Martina. Timeout, Bird. Wholesale sub. Looks like it's a 30 just for subs. Yeah. 
Get it going. Yeah, get the five in. Get him in. Get him. Got him. Number 30, Angelina Glover. Looks like Carly would be playing the center. And Glover sees her first action of the game. Yeah. You got Chandy up top on a 2-3 <laughs> with Jada Sutherland. Hunsaker on the bottom of it with Carly in the middle. Glover nice. on the back side. Nice dribble oh. drive. Oh, he counted wow. a two. LeBron James with a continuation. You got a little NBA action Yeah, going you go, on. girl. Go <laughs> for it. That's good. She's starting to come along tonight now. Jocelyn Silva is showing a little something. Yeah, she's. We have not seen her and Young in the game together, though. I mean, since probably when they first started the game. Correct. I like to see them in there together. And yeah, they've got some nice pieces. Yeah. 65-23, 547, another block. And we are getting near the double bonus, and we're not even. No. Nah the five minute mark when you're playing young players at the varsity level i don't you know no matter what classification you're right. playing it, it's tough yep glover dribble drive right pull up back out to jada sutherland picks up her dribble puts the ball above her head carly top near top of the key back to glover in the corner back out to sutherland dribbles across the top of the key to chandy left hand dribble near the baseline Glover dribbles mm. back out for the handoff to Carly. <laughs> Shoot that, there you go. Puts on the line. Let's see what they do. Short. Loose ball. Rebound. Silva. Fairmont Senior on the break. Good kick ahead. Another jump ball. Hope the lights don't go out <laughs> on the um, on the arrow. Yeah. Doing some work tonight. Mm -hmm. Majority of the crowd still stay probably looking for pictures after the game. Oh, family time. Family time. Baseline inbounds comes right back to ball side for three. It is mm, oh. Oh, off all pieces of the rim. Loose ball. And Fairmont Senior's done a better job of attacking the offensive rebound. Yeah, they've been. Offensive glass, excuse me. Because in the first half, they were not doing that. Bird was getting a lot of offensive yeah, rebounds. Yeah, one, one possession probably had five oh. or six. Knock that down. Nice pass over to Chandy from eight feet. Chandy with her first two of the game. You know, in the first half, she had that shot pump picked and went to the rim. Yes. She should have just shot her. And this time she makes the right decision. 440 left, 67-23. Clarksburg, Robert C. Bird up, foot on the line, short on the two-pointer. Holly Hunsaker with the defensive rebound. Glover sprints down the left side. Jada starts to slide down the right. Glover comes ball side. From about 18 foot. That's a good looking shot right was. there. She got oh. her feet set, did a nice job. Dan Carly just fouled out of the scene. Now, get your money's worth. Four. I got her with five. They got her with two. I don't All know. Right. <laughs> Audrey's coming back in for somebody. We Bird has six on the floor, and Karat comes out. So on a 2-3 zone, you have Chandy and Jada up top. Hunsaker, Car uh, Aubrey in the middle, and Glover. Nice pull up by Ava Abel. Got five in this quarter. Yes. Jada left hand dribble. And on that the came because Young drove the ball and yes. everybody claps and she's able and to get we talked about before yeah. that that should be something they can work on mm -hmm. now jada dribble drive into the lane long step with the trip and, and one. one hey well as we start to wind down here what do you see T tell me the positives on Robert C. Bird tonight. After about that first three minutes, turnovers way down. Which is come toward the time, you just cannot turn the ball over. Just can't do it. Um, like rebounding the ball on the offensive side, they really got a lot better at. Wow. wow. And what's nice is if, if, if the Robert C. Bird Lady Eagles can learn how the last dribbles you pick it up, Mm -hmm. to pound it into the ground to get your hand quicker and then decide what you're going to do even beforehand sometimes instead of the hope. Yeah, I think that's something they um, 
young basketball players drive to the middle and they don't know what they want to do with the basketball. And remember how we talked about early in the season when those team, when um, might have been Wheeling Central was pressing. Mm -hmm. Bird didn't – the receivers weren't preparing to make themselves available. Right. They're not coming to the ball, not being pre prepared, which is things they've changed. Glover Long on the first. Kendall Sturm checks back into the game for Robert C. Bird. Second short. It was straight. 70 28, 326 left in the third quarter. Fourth, excuse me, fourth quarter. Fairmont seniors played really, uh, played a lot better here in the second half. And, and their players have been consistently willing to continue to try yeah. to get better even as the game went on. Nice uh, swing out a little quicker. Good, I like it. That was very good defense by Junkins underneath. Yeah. Junkins is going to be a good player for yes. him. Yes. just got to get some time. Mm -hmm. They've done a good job getting a schedule. Nice dump down. That should be an and one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Better right than late. <laughs> Meyer Moore returns back to the line. All five starters for Bird did score. That's a good thing. Bishop just fouled out for yeah. Especially on senior night. Let's see if Meyer Moore can get one of these to go. Yeah, she went to the line earlier. Though. That's a good looking shot. Mm. It's all right. Let's get better. There you go. One of two for Moore, her first points of the game. Almost everybody's played for Bird or scored. Uh-huh. Now you're just trying to slide your feet. Don't foul. Don't be yeah, silly. Don't Next foul that Bird commits, and here it comes. Um, everybody's in a double bonus now. Young back to the line <coughs> for two. She did well in the first half from the line, going three for four. She's over for this half. First one's up, long. Oh, for five so far this second half. She can make a living there with the way she plays plays the game. <laughs> that's loud. That is loud. Oh. I mean, that's an easy every night for her six to eight points. Oh yeah. In the future, Kendall strong left hand dribble. Young deflects it out of bounds. Again, we still don't have Silva or Ethan Young on the floor at the same mm -hmm. time. That could be something to look at in the future. Kendall catches the left wing, dribbles back up near the top of the key with her right hand. Back to her left, dribble drives into the lane. Off to Jada. Okay, down, get yourself yeah. a double figure. Yeah. She's got nine. Does she really? Yeah. Now, that's two deflections in a row by Young. Yes. When she gets older, she'll just take those and go <laughs> the length of the court and score. Is she a sophomore? Freshman. Fresh, wow. Mm -hmm. Kendall dribble on the face. There's almost a reach. Left hand dribble drive. Nice Down pass. the glover. Nice pass. Out Get to Jada from 15. Mm. Long offensive rebound fight. Kendall ends up with it, and we'll have another jump ball. <laughs> Possession stays with, with Bird. Bird. Jump ball. 71 28. Just a touch over two minutes left in the game. Crowd continues to stay. Shoot that. Uh, see, Aubrey with a nice it. catch. That was a good catch by Aubrey yeah. Jones, keeping on balance. When she get, the older she gets, she'll make that move a little yes. sooner. Yes. As long as you're playing. So I don't know. I, I did not count the number of quarters those girls got, but if, if Audrey Junkins got to play all four quarters of JV and now you get to play two quarters of varsity, that's a great night of yeah. development. Good patience Swing by it. Fairmont Senior all over again. Well, they got to move, and they just got to get the move of this little yes, super. Yes, there, there she is. That's exactly there what they, is. yes. Wow. I uh, just got to finish that. Good way to stay with on the offensive mm. rebound. Good rebound by Junkins. Off to Jada coming down the right side. Moore's running in front of her. Good so thought. Give it little to her off balance. Yeah. yeah, just. Don't give it to her there. If you're going to give it to her, give it to her a little earlier. And it's like throwing a screen when the receiver yeah, has you turned don't his want, head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't throw before the lineman get out there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Claremont seniors have some good wow. possessions. There she goes. She's not have, off by much. No, no but they have not turned it over either. No, they, I've only got, I've got them for three in this quarter. Morrison checks in. Aubrey checks in, and I think she's coming in for Jada. Yes, she is. So good for Aubrey Morrison to get some minutes here. Let's get some devel development. Lap yeah. 121. Myra Moore work on her point guard skills. Dri oh, dribble that's a nice drive. drive. Yes, that's that is yeah. a great <laughs> move. That is her athleticism showing off. Oh, just, absolutely. That's, that's all natural instinct right there. Good for her. 73-28. She's got three on the night. Good tip her, by Glover. Her and Young almost look like the same player. Yes. And look, she's checking her shoulder and yeah, got away from her a little bit. The thought was right. She was looking on her left as she does. Yeah. She does a nice job of when she gets an open floor. She does evaluate the floor. Yeah, she doesn't get in too, the, too I can't even talk right now. Too much of a hurry. No. Well, we want to thank everybody for joining us. We don't know how many views we get, but it's always nice to see numbers as they increase. Ball short, good try on the, on the oh, tip. bad looking shot there. No. Uh, but again, it, uh, rather have a missed on a turnover. At least give yourself an opportunity. Yeah, just get up on the rim, bounce around a couple times, you never know. Might. And Fairmont Senior continues the pressure. Nice dribble by Kendall. Good strength with her left hand. Good patience. Reverse it. That's a good Junkins, looking that's shot. A good looking shot by Junkins. Continue to do that, young lady. Two on one. Young, oh, little flutter with the right and a foul by Junkins. We were going to the line for two for Fairmont Senior. Remember, Hamilton did that a couple times in the first half mm -hmm. and still took off from about the foul line. <laughs> <laughs> As we start to kind of wrap up this thing, Bird looked to have a, more, a better game plan after the first half of the first quarter. Yeah. Shots, first one's good by Senior. Um, and then Fairmont learned how to adjust to the game for what they needed to do. Well, they turned it over 11 times in the first quarter, and second quarter three, third quarter three, and three in this quarter. So that's yeah. – you can live with that. Much better, yes. And good strength by both girls right mm -hmm. there. Jump ball, ordinary possession goes to Bird. 22 seconds to go. If you turn it over, you just don't give yourself a shot. Yes. Left hand dribble by Kendall, back to the right, a little bit of a crossover, attacks the lane. Off the Glover to Kendall. Shoot it. Somebody get open and shoot it. Deflection by Senior with the steal. They do a nice job of attacking the yeah. rim. There's a nice offensive rebound by Young and a foul by Junkins. Young goes back to the line. Let's see if she can make one here the second half. 73-29, 1.9 to go in the game. First one up, mm. long. Second one up. There, there you is. go, young lady. Good for you to get that last one in. 73-30, 1.9, and game. DJ, give me, wrap it up. Give us some final thoughts. All, all your seniors scored on senior night. Two finished with over 20 points. Uh, Hunsaker gets the three, which she, you know she deserves. And I thought um, Kyla has played well, especially the pull-up jump shot from about the foul line. Yep. Bird did much better after the first three minutes. Good job to them. Way to mm -hmm. finish out on senior night. Congratulations to all, and we want to thank you for making us part of your evening. Good night.